Good evening. My name is Diane Hockman. We'll be starting in just a couple of minutes. If you join us, definitely say hello. I'm streaming. <coughs> Got a little weird thing going on in my throat, so excuse me. I'm streaming to an assortment of places. And I think some people are also going to share the stream. Uh, you're definitely welcome, depending on where you're seeing this, to share the stream. And um, most of the places that you're seeing the stream, there's a little link above the video that you have to give permission to share your uh, to share your identity with me over on the interface that I'm on. So uh, let me take a look and I'll show you what that looks like. And you guys can do that because I do see some people starting to say hello and I cannot tell who it is. Oh, I guess the thing's not there. Hmm. I don't know, I'm looking at it here and it's not showing. So I guess I'll just have to figure it out. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hello. Hello, 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 and welcome. There you go. I see Dr. Lisa, Tina, Jack, Lynn Ann, Delroy, somebody who just says Facebook user. I don't know who it is, but I'm sure it's somebody wonderful. Diana, you guys feel free to share this video if you're catching it on my wall. If you're catching it inside of our Facebook group, I don't think you can share from there. Hi, Kara. <clears throat> but if you're catching it on my wall, you're welcome to share. Um, because I'm going to be laying down some some major stuff tonight. I'm just waiting to see when I see some of my crew come on. I know I'm a couple minutes early. I just wanted to get on and make sure it was streaming properly where it belonged. Hello, Anne. <coughs> Anne with an E, like Anne of Avonlea, Anne of Green Gables, which is my favorite. Hello, Ms. Halbrook. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Um, again, guys, if you are a member of the B Club, which we're going to be talking about tonight, Definitely feel free to share this and tell uh, your folks, um, you know, to get back to you if, if what they hear is of any interest. Cassandra, I haven't seen you in forever. Hello, hello. Um, <clears throat> you can share it. If you can't share it from the group, you can share it from my Facebook wall. Um, so feel free to go over to facebook.com forward slash Diane Hockman and share it if you kind of know the vibe I'm going with. If you're not sure and you want to watch first and you don't want to share, or maybe you're not a member of the group yet, that's okay. Just listen in tonight. I'm just looking to see if I see Alice, Jenny, Ray, if any of you guys are watching, please just leave me a comment. And let me know that you are on. Hello, Barbara. Hello, hello, hello. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. I haven't spoken to most of you since the New Year. I was a uh, a little quiet last week, and I'm still got a little uh, little something something going on over here. Hello, Miss Kathy. Um, but I'm feeling good, like emotionally, spiritually, mentally, <clears throat> and business wise. Hi, Barb. Uh, we got Barbara spelled one way, Barbara spelled another way. Katrina, hello and welcome. Happy New Year. Um, I'm glowing. It's because I'm sitting in the dark with spotlights on me, Lisa. <laughs> Uh, with some candlelight in the background. Please do excuse the mess. I'm literally in the process of moving. Um, and I've been saying that for a couple of weeks, but I really am moving now. <laughs> so there's, I'm, I'm trying to decide what to bring. That's a box of books and materials that are coming with me. Um, I can't bring all my stuff. So hello, Miss Stephanie. Um, so let me give it another minute. I'm looking for Ray Williams. I'm looking for Alice Iverson. I'm looking for, um, well, the move is happening in kind of in uh, uh, phases. <laughs> so um, I will start setting up house next week. Hello, Derek. How are you? Good to see you. Um, I will start setting up. I'm actually going to Utah on Wednesday for a company retreat, which I'm really excited about. Other than they think we're we're going to play in the snow, which some people seem to be. Thank you, Ray. I see you. Some people uh, hearing a lot of buzz about this. Well, OK, <laughs> it's just me being weird, Derek. It's what I do. Um, but I think we're going to have a lot of people um, that see the value of um, our great company. So we're going 
uh, to Utah. We're going to go see ice castles. And I hear there's snow tubing involved and all kinds of fun things. And then I will leave from there and go back to Slidell, Louisiana and start setting some stuff up. And then going to drive up here with a big vehicle and see what else I'm going to take. I am literally, and I will start this officially in a minute. I am literally releasing most of my possessions, which sounds kind of freaky, but something is calling me. And I'm going to tell you an interesting story tonight. So uh, I think we are at eight. It's actually 8.03. So let me begin. Um, good evening. Welcome. Happy New Year. My name is Diane Hockman. I'm the founder of the B Club. And you might be like, what the heck is the B Club? Or some of you guys have been listening in to some of the little pre-shows and different things I've been talking about. Tonight, I'm going to give you a message. We're not going to talk business. We're not going to talk money making. We're not going to talk about programs. We're not going to talk about <clears throat> prospecting. We're not going to talk about all the stuff that most people are busy thinking about when it comes down to their business opportunities, et cetera, et cetera. And I do have a full 360 marketing method. And I do have a phenomenal multi-level program. And I do have phenomenal supportive affiliate programs with tools and different things because you guys are internet people um, and you look for internet tools and leverage, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> I do have all of that. We're not going to be discussing that tonight. In fact, something pretty um, wild just happened at seven o'clock this evening. Ginny's here. So now I feel secure. Ray's here. Ginny's here. I'm hoping Alice or Alice may not have been able to be on tonight. The rest of you guys and Kathy Joy, everything is recorded forever and ever. You don't even need to ask the question. The question is, do I decide to release it? Right now, this is in public. This is all over Facebook and YouTube. So um, unless I hate it and I pull it all down, it will be available tomorrow and forevermore. Um, a life worth living is a life worth documenting. There's Alice. Now I feel secure. My peeps are here. Um, usually I don't perform by myself. Usually I have a crew and we're having some fun. But I really wanted to be focused tonight. I really wanted to be concise tonight. I have a message to deliver. And um, I think I will begin now. A life worth living is a life worth recording. I record pretty much everything I do. I record all the words that I speak on the internet. I record <clears throat> and document with my phone. I mean, go check out my TikTok. Go check out my YouTube. There's decades worth of content um, so I'm always recording. Occasionally, I say something naughty or I say something that I shouldn't have said and I pull something down. But the rest is there. Um, and if any of you guys would like to explore my history and legacy over the years, maybe you're new. Maybe you're just meeting me. You don't know who I am. Some of you guys have been invited by friends. Um, definitely feel free to go check me out. I invite you to. Um, but I want to tell you a little bit tonight about why I'm doing this and what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> And let me figure out how to put this story exactly in the order that I want. Not too long ago, I started feeling a change in the marketplace, a profound change, a rippling change. Um, and it was reminiscent of what I felt back in 2005. Yes, I've been around that long. I've actually been in the game since 1999. I started with traditional network marketing. Um, there was no real internet then, so it was basically meeting people in the supermarket. And, you know, I, I see what's in your supermarket cart. You look like you're health-minded, you know, and prospecting people. Good stuff. And <clears throat> I noticed content marketing. I noticed information marketing. I started to notice the very beginnings of affiliate marketing. I noticed things were changing. And then I noticed that social media was burgeoning. Social media was coming. This was 2005. You had 2006, 2007, 2008, the birth of Twitter. You know, Twitter's all controversial now, but Twitter was revolutionary at the time. The birth of Facebook. MySpace was prevalent then. The, all of these sites and everything was changing. And what was happening is that the marketplace, especially in this industry, was very concerned that, that it would turn everything that they had upside down. And they were right to be concerned because everything they knew was about to be turned upside down. 
And um, social media came and it really rocked the world. Um, and it became something that people like me, I'm an early adopter. You might want to write that down. Become an early adopter. People like me, I'm an early adopter. I adopted early. Other people adopted late. But just like Star Trek, any, any Star Trek fans in the house? I know Melodian is a sci-fi girl. You know, the Borg, I don't know if you remember from Star Trek Next Generation, but the Borg would come and it would say, you will be assimilated. When something new is coming and something's coming down the track, Sue Fisher, why am I not surprised you like a little Star Trek, right? So when something's coming down the track, right, resistance is futile, okay? You can see it or you can ignore it, right? You can go, oh, no, 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 right? You can see it or you can ignore it. You can adopt it or you can say, I'll wait till later. But when something is coming that is going to impact everybody and is that strong, and when you hear it start to hit critical mass, right? What does critical mass mean? It's when everybody's talking about it, right? Everybody's just starting to rumble about it. Just starting, it's kind of, it's like a quiet little rumble. And then and, and the next thing you know, when grandma's talking about it, it's hit critical mass. Okay. And by the way, I'm old enough to be a grandma, so I ain't knocking grandmas. I love grandmas. But what I'm saying is as the generations see it and adopt it and talk about it, when you have a large number of people that are now talking about something, it's not going away. And yes, you will be assimilated. There, it, resistance is futile. It's going to happen. So social media came and people resisted it and they tried to keep things intact the way they were. And there was no resisting it. And what was really interesting is that in 2008, and I'm not giving you a history lesson, I'm trying to show you how history repeats itself. In 2008, the economy got really bad and there was the real estate crash. And then there was also a big change at Google. And a lot of people who had become really big, <clears throat> you know, internet marketers, they saw their businesses fall apart because of a change that Google had pulled. And a lot of people who had real estate and a lot of people that you know in this industry really got, got squeezed at, at that time. And then we also had, um, you know, uh, the, the dot-com crash. So the stock market and all the stuff was affected and things were funky and the economy was crazy. And of course, back then everybody went and, you know, it, it was funny because my friend Ray Williams, a lot of you guys know him. He's another co-founder of the community. Um, when things were starting to get messy, I said, well, here comes the gas additive. Here comes the this. Here comes the that. Because I knew what products people would pull out because when people get panicked and when people get manic and when people start to get scared, they all run for cover. And that's going on now. Okay. So we had the, we had obviously the pandemic. And uh, if you don't know me, I was severely hit by the pandemic um, health wise. I'm still like part of what you're hearing in my throat tonight is I still have lung issues <coughs> from COVID. I was very ill. And um, it gets me sometimes, you know, it gets me sometimes. And we're working on building that up. And, and, and working on my lung capacity. But in any case, we had the pandemic and we had um, the gas prices soaring and everybody's screaming. And right now we have even leaders in the space or people that were formerly in the space. Because um, I love when people are in the space and they're all for it and then they leave the space and then they bash the space. We're going to talk about that a little bit. And they're saying the sky is falling down. World War Three is happening. This is happening. Yada, yada, yada. And maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know, because I'm in my happy little world over here. But what I do know is that communication is changing right under our nose. And so I had this idea about the B Club, and I started talking to some of my friends about it, I don't know, a couple months ago. I know some people are frustrated because they want to go faster. They want to go faster. They want to go faster. Guys, timing is everything. You do things when the time is right. You don't run when the time isn't right. If you run on a football field when there's a bunch of blockers, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? You're going to get blocked. You're going to get hit. You're going to get knocked down. But if you wait, if you're willing to wait and you're willing to look and you're willing to pay attention to when the timing is exactly right and then you run, you're going to score. So we're getting to a place right now. How many of you? 
heard about AI, artificial intelligence, months ago, maybe even years ago, you know, the, the metaverse, the this, this, and that. It's people have been talking about this for years, right? But um, all of a sudden, everybody has AI in their offer. Everybody's selling AI software. Everybody has AI software. Everybody's working. Cassandra, I, know, I have no doubt that you've worked in AI and you're a brilliant woman. You've worked with a lot of things. <clears throat> Everybody's talking about this. So I always say when grandma's talking about it, you know, and in this industry, we're weirdos. So grandma's in this industry are not like grandma's, you know, out in the street. Everybody's talking about communication. Everybody's talking about AI. Everybody's playing with it. Everybody's documenting what they're doing with it. Have you guys seen it? Am I wrong? Are you guys seeing it coming down the road? Anybody else? Just give me a, give me a shout. Yes. No, never heard of it. Seen it. No, we're not all wearing Googles, you know. Yes, well, you are AI because you're Alice Iverson. Uh, and there's a tool called Chat GPT that all of a sudden went viral. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's playing with it. So <clears throat> I got excited about putting together this group because what's going to happen is everything's going to flip upside down again. Everything that you know, like, for example, info products. I went to my first seminar about creating info products in 2008. And my mentor was somebody who created info products in the 90s. Okay. Now everybody and their uncle can create an info product. True or not true? It's pretty easy. There's software, all kinds of things you can do. Heck, you can go over to Fiverr and hire someone to write your ebook. You can go over here and hire someone to put it up. And, you know, there you are. You got an info product. So, info products are now a dime a dozen. Copywriting, and I'm known to be an email queen. I'm a pretty good copywriter. Copywriter, well, if you know how to prompt an AI tool right now, pretty much anybody can become a copywriter. Now, I won't talk tonight about why it won't work for most people. It won't work for most people, by the way. You can go get chat at GPT all day long. You don't know how to use it. You don't know how to prompt it. But pretty much anybody can write a letter now. Hmm. So everybody can become an info product creator. Everybody can become a copywriter, right? There's no barrier there anymore. Everybody can get a product because before we had to find a company that had a proprietary product, a special product. Now you can find products on every corner. I know some of you guys are listening. You're getting worried. You're going, what is she doing? We have a special product. I do have special products. Don't worry. <clears throat> Don't worry. I'm not leading people astray. I'm leading people back to places that are going to help them. But you can go get products shipped in from China. You can go. And I was just talking to somebody that's talking about secret product that they're putting on a Shopify store. Okay. All of this stuff is going to be at your fingertips. It already is. You just may not know where to find it. Okay. And everybody will sell you a seminar to teach you where to find it. So the question is. If all of this is true, how come everybody isn't rich yet? How come everybody hasn't built residual income? How come everybody doesn't have money that shows up at the beginning of every month and they know they're going to get paid? Like, you know, when you have a job, you know, you're going to get paid every week unless you get laid off or something. When you have residual income, you know, you're going to get paid. You kind of have a ballpark idea in your head about what your income is going to look like. Right? I know about what I'll make this month. I mean, I could go to work and make more. I might goof off and make less, but I know ballpark where I'm going to be. So how come everybody isn't rich? And how come perhaps you're not? Some of you guys do pretty well. I've seen some pretty amazing people here. Why not? What's stopping you? What's holding you? you back from what you deserve, what you were born to have. So let's set that aside for a minute. I'm going to go on a sidebar. I'm going to go over here for a minute. Because by the way, it's interesting because years ago when I started talking about social media and the things that were common, I had about the same amount of people, okay, that were willing to listen to me at the time. And most people went, she's crazy. She's doing it wrong. She's this, she's that. <clears throat> so I just showed you info products, dime a dozen. Anybody can do it. Anybody's going to be able to do it. Okay, affiliate program, dime a dozen, anybody can build one. Uh, finding unique products, anybody can. You can get things drop shipped from China in a minute. You can get every kind of cream, no lotion, potion knocked off. You can get anything you want. 
okay? Copywriting is going to be available and accessible to everybody, sort of, but not, because I'll explain why not another day. So I'm not worried because I'm a really good copywriter and nobody's going to write copy like me. And that's a whole nother story. When we, we talk about copywriting, we'll, we'll talk about that. So why isn't everybody rich? So <clears throat> 7 p.m. today, and normally when I'm getting ready to do one of these, I kind of put on some soft music and I kind of ask for the message to download because I don't, this is my, this is, these are my notes tonight. These are my notes. That's it. On a stained piece of paper. Um, you know, I don't have things written out. I don't have a slide deck. Okay. I asked for the message to download from the ethers. Okay. I get a phone call. I look down. It's my old mentor, Joe. Now, Joe and I go for months on end. We don't talk. And then all of a sudden he'll pop up. Okay. Won't talk to him. He'll pop up. He pops up tonight. Now, one thing that you need to know about my old marketing teacher, Joe, is Joe gets up at like four o'clock in the morning. Joe never calls at night. Okay, if he's going to call, he's going to call early or he's going to text early to let you know to because he'll, he'll be up at five o'clock. He'll text you at five o'clock to say when you're up at Adam, let me know. <clears throat> we don't talk for months, months on end, sometimes years on end. Okay, shows up today. And we're chatting because he had sent me a text on Sunday, yesterday, Sunday. Um, and we're chatting and um, <clears throat> very interested you know what he did he went to a magic show because he's an old magician met with some people i know blah, 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 blah. and then all of a sudden when we talk about me moving we have this little conversation and he says so so what are you up to and i start telling him about the b club and i start telling him about my 360 marketing method which is something that he would create because i was taught by him and before I could finish my sentences about my idea, about what I see coming down the line, about what, <clears throat> what I know is going to happen, he was finishing the sentences. And I, it was like actually downright spooky. Downright spooky because he's always been a visionary. He's always been somebody, he's off, with millions of viewers on TikTok and doing all kinds of kooky stuff. <clears throat> Left the industry for a while. He's off doing his thing. Um, still not in the industry. He's in sales and he has like a million subscribers on TikTok. Um, and he is working corporate deals at TikTok and all this other stuff. So he's complete. Now we haven't talked in months and he is completing my sentences about what's coming and what he sees. And what's interesting is Joe is a guy, he's very interesting because he's a visionary, but he's kind of dogmatic. Tell him I said so. He can be, you know, this is the way it is. This is the way it is. And I was like his rambunctious student back, you know, 15 years ago, whatever, however long ago it was, going, no, 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 because I was his student when the internet was burgeoning and he didn't like the internet at the time. He didn't think the internet was going to do what it did. He didn't like social media. He didn't like video. The guy had a flip phone. <clears throat> okay, so here I am and I'm going, no, 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 no. We got to go over here. And I remember he used to talk all the time because he was one of the best writers ever to grace this industry. Everybody's ripped off his copy. There's generations of people that have ripped off his copy because they ripped it off from people who ripped it off, who ripped it off, who ripped it off. They don't even know it's his copy. And he always used to say content is king. And today he said, and you know, he's very dramatic and he goes, and he calls me Dillman. It's a long story why he calls me Dillman. He goes, Dillman, grab a pen. And I go, okay. And he goes, write this down. Content is dead. Content is dead. And he went into one of his riffs about how everything's about to change, which is aligning exactly with what I'm seeing. He went into a riff about social and how social will work. He went into a riff about how companies are finally waking up and realizing how social works and ads and everything. And everything's going to flip upside down. And the opportunity is 
maybe the biggest thing I've ever seen in my 24, because now it's in 2023, so I can say 24 years. It's really not 24 until October, but I always round up. In my 24 years, it's the biggest thing. Yes, Cassandra, and, and, and I'll go deeper. Because if everybody can make content, Cassandra, if everybody can use a chat GPT, if everybody can use Jasper, if everybody can, you see, I was the idiot. I'm an early adopter. I paid $2,000 for copy pro. Now everybody's doing it for free, right? I paid $2,000. <coughs> I'm a copywriter and I bought the copywriting software because I thought it was a quick way to whip off sales pages and all this other stuff. If everybody can fill in the blanks. It's like Mad Libs, marketing Mad Libs. If everybody can fill in the blank, there's going to be a massive flood. If everything becomes easier, because it does, because remember grandma had an ice box and then she got a repair, great grandma, however old you are, got an ice box, you know, they had an ice box and they literally had a block of ice delivered every week and then they got a refrigerator and then they got a washing machine. Everything becomes, if everything's so easy, how come everybody's house isn't clean? Right? We got all these appliances and we got all this stuff. How many of you guys, you have a bread maker, you have a dough maker, you have a kitchen aid, you have a this, you have a that, you have an immersion butter. Yeah. How come we, we don't all, we're not gourmet cooks? So what is about to happen? is a flood of content like we've never seen before because everybody's going to be pumping it out because everybody's going hell this is easy and the marketers are telling them to do it so it's going to create more and oh, did frank talk about this jenny just said frank frank kern talked about it now i didn't see him talk about it but <clears throat> so all of this is going to happen and in the meantime the corporations are going to flood social take over the ads so the ad prices are going to escalate in ways we've never seen before so what was accessible to everybody in the past becomes less accessible, right? In the meantime, the economy is changing. People are freaking out. And here in Connecticut, our electric bills are going up 100%. I'm glad I'm leaving. They're probably going up down there too. <clears throat> you know, and everybody's like, all the Facebook groups, everybody's like, ah, the world is ending. The sky's falling down. And all of this stuff, it, it, Ron, it's not even crazy that he called me. Ron Henley just said crazy that Joe called you today. It was the timing, the time that he called. Now, he was probably spying on me and knew I had a thing going on. I don't know, maybe. <clears throat> you never know where he is. Point being, if you to date have not figured the game out and you are not making the kind of money you want to make, which is most everybody, okay? Most ever the people that are making $100,000 a month probably aren't watching right now, although some of them do. I have a lot of them on my list. They spy to see what I'm up to. And PS, and by the way, I did not write my list today and I did not promote once on Facebook that I was talking tonight. I promoted it for several days. I didn't do it today. I didn't do it today because I want those that care to hear. I want those that have an open mind. I want those that have a thought process. Everything's about to change. And the question is, are you focused on the past and trying to catch up? Or are you focused on the future and trying to be ahead of the people, ahead of the curve on that field, running down towards the touchdown line by yourself? Are you focused on the past? Are you just trying to learn how to say hello to people on Facebook? And I'm not knocking you guys if you're not up to that. If you're, I, I'm not trying to be a jerk. But we all learned how to say hello to people on Facebook in 2008, 2009, 2010, 2012, right? Are you focusing on trying to catch up and do it right? Are you focusing on trying to market in ways that don't align with your being, your soul, who you are? Have you noticed the languaging is changing? Have you noticed the backlash out there? The angry mobs of people that now have YouTube channels saying how bad we all are as they sell something else? I think it's pretty funny. Pretty funny. Oh, they're evil and they're mean and they're cults and they're this and they're that and they're so horrible. Let me show you my new product line. <clears throat> but it's not that. I'm a network marketer. I'm an affiliate marketer. I'm a copywriter. 
I'm a lover of humans. I'm a philosopher. I'm a sociologist. I'm a mother of grown women. I'm a wanderer of the world. I take programs that I vet, that I find to be phenomenal programs with phenomenal people that actually care about humans. And I put them into configurations. I'm doing this because 360, 360. I put them into configurations and provide resources for people so they can focus less on how to do it right. And they can focus more about who they are and who they want to be. It's not called Make Money Club. There's a million of them out there. They're happy to take your money as fast as you can blink. Take your money as fast as you can blink. And they will. This is about being. Bring me your mind. I'll show you how to make money. If you stick around, if you show up, if you're willing to set your systems up, we have help. I'm not going to get into any of that tonight. I'm not going to try to sign you up into anything. And by the way, most of the things you can sign up for free are next to nothing. If you want to poke around, you want to look in the back office, you want to try a seven-day sample of one of the products we market, you want to try, you know, look in the back office of our website tools, you want to send a postcard or two with our mail order stuff and, and see how that works, you want to mess around with it, cool. You should. Because what I know is when things turn upside down, and they are about to, might take till 2025, it's 2023 now, right? Might take till 2025. You, some of you guys will be looking back and going, oh, she was right. Now, I'm not trying to be right. I'm not that girl. Actually, I am. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to be right. But what I'm saying is when I see it, when it's coming down that track, hear that train to come in, right? Coming down the track. It's coming. Woo, boo, it's coming. <clears throat> And if you're afraid to write a post because you don't know what to say, you better get ready. You better get ready. So if I gave you the websites, the words, the copy, if I gave you a code and it just went, Raylex, when I make that sound, right? If I gave you all of that, right? The postcard designs, the this, the that. If I gave you all that, the text, <clears throat> if I gave you the 360 and I showed you how to market people and follow up with people and automate it in a way that'll blow your mind. If I gave you all of that, why will many people fail anyway? Because they did not work on their being, on their consciousness, on their governing philosophy, on the set of their sale. Ron smiling because that's a little Jim Rohn in there, right? on who they are meant to be. And they did not learn, have you guys ever taken, anybody old like me, you, you go take an exercise class now and they give you the modifications, you know, like you have a bad knee, I had knee surgery, I can't do that one. Okay, here's a different exercise you can do. It's a modification, right? So you're an introvert and you're not somebody who's gonna come out and go, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. you're not gonna dance and, on TikTok, you know, and do the, do the, um, what, what is the Beyonce one? I can't think of the name of it, but whatever. You're not going to do the TikTok dance? That's okay. There's a modification. You're concerned with doing this? That's okay. There's a modification. Because what you want to do, nobody is old like you. Who wrote that? Because you're in trouble. Because I'm really old. So you're in trouble. You're going to get a spanking. Your name doesn't show up. That's it. Cuff it. Thank you, Stephanie. I couldn't, I couldn't get my cuffing out. Okay. So. Here's the question. Do you know how to modify for your, and by the way, this part of the riff is thanks to Stephanie Odin today, who is our, our introvert master. She is a high achieving introvert in this marketing space that helps people alternate, figure out the ways to do it for them, right? Have you worked on you? Have you worked on your, I don't know, your being? why it's called B Club. Are you comfortable in your own skin? Hi, Val. Are you ready to meet someone? If you were to meet someone today, are you busy going, I don't know what to say? Or can you hold a conversation? Because I can give you the tools. I can give you the tools. We have a whole team of masters that can give you the tools. But are you ready? 
I have the message. I have the mechanics. I have the money vehicles. And I have help for your mind. I have them all together in one place. It's free to join the group. Some things are going to be out in public. They're going to be absolutely open. Some things are going to cost a few dollars. We have an incredible network marketing company that you can get a free account to. Don't want to buy nothing. I don't want to buy any number. How many people say, they don't even know what I'm talking about. And they go, well, I don't have any money to join. I'm like, what are you joining? Because they're so used to people taking your money so fast that you can't even blink. And they're like, I can't join because I don't have any money. What are you joining? What are you, what are you buying? You try for seven days, a couple bucks, right? Try for a month, try different products. We have website system. You can use the ones we give you. You can build your own. You can make yours purple. You can make yours pink. I wouldn't, not good for the internet, but you can do whatever you want. I got a system where you can mail to people. What if you got somebody on board with a product, right? And then they went into a mail follow-up system. It costs you a fee every month, and then you can send as many postcards as you want. You put everybody in, and it was just like do, 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 machine. But are you ready to handle them when they come around? Are you ready to talk to them? Are you still trying to prove to your third grade teacher that you're okay? Are you still worried that mom or dad's going to come yell at you? I had a major revelation about my childhood the other day. I have beautiful, wonderful parents. But every kid went through that thing. Right. Growing up, they always every kid got a message. It was because your parents was your parents were exhausted trying to get you to sit down and settle down. But every everybody's carrying around that burden. I have the mind mechanic coming to work with you. I have tech masters, messaging masters, me with the copy. This is who we are. And we're starting now. Oh, and by the way, Joe wants to come out and talk. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever heard my old friend, Joe. He'll hurt your mind. He'll hurt your mind. He'll hurt your mind. But he's the one that took me down this road of working on myself. So why am I here tonight instead of talking to you about my deal and what I've got to sell you and what my what my what merchant products I have for you? Versus talking about this. Why am I not slamming you in the door? Why am I not selling and signing you up and putting you on an auto ship, baby? Hi, Bob, master. Why am I not doing that? Because I don't want you in the club unless you're ready to work on yourself. I don't want you in the club. It's very marketable. It's, it's, it's. Everything that I have is incredibly marketable. One of the programs on the number one earner I've made a million and a half dollars over there. Another program, I just hit a high rank. I'm going out to Utah to hang out with them. Incredible. I see huge future. I'm moving to Louisiana to work with the great Angel Fletcher <laughs> to build systems and tools and all kinds of things. And we'll have systems and tools for guys off the street that are not our internet internet type. But we're we're can I can I tell can I say the truth? Can I can I <clears throat> you know would it be wrong? We're junkies. We love this game. We can't leave this game. How many of you have been in the game for over 10 years? How many of you have been in, you know, different programs? We love this game. We're not people off the street. We're the people that are that are in love. We're in love with the message. We're in love with the ideas. We're in love with the leverage. We're in love with the lifestyle. We're in love with the trips. We're in love with the freedom. And even if we walk away, for a little while, we end up coming back over and over and over again. Why? Because the day we heard the good news of what is possible, we wanted it. We wanted it. I wanted it. I remember sitting in that room, October 4th, 1999, and I said, this is it. This is it. And I've spent a career sorting and finding and learning and spending time with different people. And I have found all the people that I want to be with when the world turns upside down. And I'm not talking about World War III and, you know, water supplies and all this other stuff. Y'all can talk about that on your own. I'm too positive and happy and in love with life to, to live in that. I, I, I am. I'm that, and somebody will say, she just puts her head in the sand. No, I believe I am provided for. Call me kooky. Call me kooky.
I have people using our mental products that are having incredible changes in mood, energy, memory, et cetera. I have people losing these pants today that I have on today. I have five smaller. I'm super happy. I have people building websites and their own membership sites and their own affiliate programs and making money in their business center. I have people using mail to build money. The question is, will you, can you, have you, who do you want to be? Because for the first time, we have a club that puts you and your being before the product or the program. Now, is the product and the program important? Of course, you want a program that's going to pay you, right? I got programs that are paid for decades, right? You want them to pay you. You want them to be there. You want them to have systems and tools to support your folks so that you don't have to be a slave. You want products that work. But in the end, it's about you and your skills. Because if Armageddon comes, if the sky falls down, guess what? The person that has the skills is going to be able to get the milk and eggs for their babies or their grandbabies. The person who has the skills, the skill of communication. When communication becomes a commodity online, because <clears throat> that's what's happening. You guys, do you know what a commodity is? I'm going to wrap this up. I'm just ranting tonight. Do you know what a commodity is? A commodity is like flour and sugar and things that, that aren't specific. You know, like when you think of sugar, maybe you want to buy Domino's sugar, but most of you don't care. You just need a pound of sugar or five pounds of sugar, right? Pork bellies, yeah, a commodity. So when communication becomes a commodity because you can just ask a computer to spit it out, what do you got left? When, when the graphics, remember when you used to have to hire a graphics artist and you had to pay all this money and now people are making graphics. I have one of the girls I work with, she makes every morning, she makes all these beautiful graphics in English and Spanish. She gets up early, has coffee and makes all these graphics for the whole team, for the whole team. She does this for everybody, regardless of lineage. She does this every day. <clears throat> she does it all by herself. She doesn't have a graphics background. It's because graphics have become accessible to the common man. I can even make up. When video that looks pro becomes accessible, I remember there was a guy. Um, oh, good, Derek. I'm glad, I'm glad you're not upset because I, I always worry that people get upset when I start ranting because they think I'm doing something sacrilegious when I'm not. Because well-developed human beings make the best reps in a company. Well-developed, strong leaders and people that have some cognition about these ideas that, that aren't questioning simple things that are that are part of the game. Like, you know, like if I tell you, you got to register a domain name and somebody doesn't want to pay $12, they're not going to make that good internet marketer. If I say to somebody, great, let's get you on an auto ship so you can use the products every month and they don't want to use the products, they're not going to make a great rep. So when we look at all of this, I'm rambling. Communication becomes a commodity. Everything turns upside down. That's right, Ron. I am in stream. Everything turns upside down. Who are you going to be? What are your skill sets going to be? Are you going to be able to handle yourself? You can work with us. You cannot work with us. You can come to these calls, the ones that I do out in public, or we bring different people out. You can come and, and, and sit at our table and consume you're, you are welcome. If you are in love with a program that you're in, you should stay there. You should do your thing. If you're in love with the software you're using, you should stay there. You should do your thing. But when you see inside of our club, inside of our group, <clears throat> you have to ask one of our members for an invite. You can't just join it. When you see inside of our group, if you're watching this video somewhere, just look and see who, who if you're in the group right now and you're watching the video in the group, you're already in. If you're watching this video somewhere else, Look and see who shared the video. That's your person. Ask them for an invite to the group. You don't got to buy nothing, okay? But I'm going to go over the marketing, the mechanics, and the money. And I think many of you will want to play. But here's the good news. If you can't play with part of the 360 that I have, right, the 360 method and the different, maybe there's only two pieces of it that fit you. Love you. Perfect. Awesome. You're welcome. Maybe you want the whole king caboodle. We can get you in the door for like 50 bucks total. It's like crazy. 
So there is no barrier. There is no border that you have to, you know, there's no wall that you have to go like, you know, like a lot of places like, like, uh, you know, if you don't buy the supervisor order, you're a piece of dirt and you can't afford it and you feel like crap. In fact, there is no feeling like crap here. Go where you're celebrated, not tolerated. Go where you're celebrated, not tolerated. Go in a place where we look at your unique talents and skills and we give you marketing methods that will enhance those instead of trying to become somebody that you're not. I am not certain things. I'm really good at other things. I created my whole business and my whole life around my quirky, ADHD, weird, introverted, extroverted weirdness. I'm a total introvert, except for when I'm at an event. And then I'm a total extrovert. And then I'm a total, like this thing, as soon as I'm done, I'll shut this thing down. I'll put on my fuzzy slippers. I'm done. Do you know who you are? And are you playing in places that are holding you back because they're trying to make you be somebody that you were not born to be. I got my, my friend Alvin wrote me the other night after I was talking. I have a lot of pizza left, Alice. You have no idea. I have, I have like three pizzas. So <clears throat> story from yesterday. <clears throat> my friend Alvin asked me if I was talking about something. A lot of times that happens to me. People will go, oh, are you talking about so-and-so's work? Or are you talking about, you know, neuro-linguistic program? Are you talking about this? I had never read any of the stuff that he showed me the other night. And I just sat and I looked and I went, oh my God, because it was all about your gifts and talents. And in the future, in the future, everything will change that we will come back to understand that people aren't the same. We're, we're, basically, we're going to stop training people to be factory workers. And network marketing companies, hear me. Stop trying to train your people to be factory workers. Those days are over. And there's so much more for all of us when we grasp what our talents are. Like, if you were to take, I'm looking at the people in the group. Cassandra and I, right? Our talents are completely different. If I tried to make her be like me, she would fail. If I tried to be like her, she would fail. But if you put us together, we could do magic. I'm just picking her because I know some of her talents. I know the people she's worked with. I know all the different things that she's you know, come down the road with since I've known her. Amazing journey, right? Same thing, Sabira. I mentioned Sabira last night. Sabir and I, completely different people, completely different backgrounds, completely from different places, different energies. And yet we connected immediately. If you were to put the two of us in a room to do a seminar, we would change lives. But why would I try to change her or to load her lips or to try to make her be a Stepford trainer or whatever when I could set her loose to give all that she has to give? And there ain't nobody here that's still listening to me that doesn't know that inside of them, you have something you were born to give. That's why you're attracted to the industry, kids. And that's why you use the industry to make the income. I'm saying the same stuff I said last night, so I'm done. I was freaked out tonight by that phone call. The timing of the phone call, the synchronicity of the phone call. And this dude consumes information all day. He, he consumes so much stuff. He's so, so like, this is what he does. And when he sat there and he was like, oh my gosh, you're doing what is, is it? and he said to me, how could you know? And I said, I don't know. I don't know. Mariah just said, I worked in many factories and you're, and you're very cloned. Guys, before I had a couple jobs before I got into the industry. One of them was I worked at a temp agency and I was the person that placed people in different jobs. So I've been in every kind of company, every kind of factory, every kind of corporate office out there. I mean, I've been in diaper factories. I've been in um, mold injecting, whatever. I've been in steel factories. I taught Spanish and English in a steel factory for years, <clears throat> part-time around my kids. That time and place, of course, we'll still need people to work in factories. But that time and the place, we're moving from the, we went from the industrial to the information now to a whole other plane. And if you keep watching, you're gonna see people talking in different ways and talking about different ideas and they're going to take on 
it's going to take on critical mass and you're going to hear messages. Remember when the law of attraction was popular in 2007 and the secret came out? Nobody had ever heard of that stuff, right? And all of a sudden everybody was an attraction expert. It was great. I loved it. But the secret was like one of those things. It was bubbling, 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 it was underground. And all of a sudden all these people got together and made a movie and it went mainstream. Well, all of these things I'm talking about and network marketing can and will evolve because progressive companies like the companies that I work with, and I don't work with more than one network marketing company to be clear, but progressive companies are understanding what's happening out in the marketplace and they're evolving and changing and providing newer, more interesting uh, ways for us to market and they're understanding the influencer space and they're understanding the different needs and, and there's you know social retail and M commerce and all of these different models that can be used from the same product line. And it allows a person to decide. Because when I started in my business, I was solely a retailer for several years. And I made good money as a retailer, but I was solely a retailer because I didn't understand all this multi-level business and leverage. I didn't understand any of it. I just wanted to make 500 bucks. And then I made a thousand bucks and then I made 2000 bucks. It was all retail. I used to retail 25, $30,000 a month as I built it up, as I built my systems. Hint, built my systems like I have one now. I'd be doing $30,000 a month in retail. It's insane. Most people's whole teams don't do $30,000. I'm going to close it down. This has been the moment of the grand opening of B Club. And yes, there's going to be events and t-shirts and stickers and prizes and all this other stuff. But what we're not going to be doing is artificially rah rah you on. See, look, Lisa, Lisa, Dr. Lisa just said, I'm rah rah and I'm about to say, you know, I'm, I'm fired up. I have no interest in trying to convince you that you have greatness. I only want to talk to those that know it's sitting inside of them. I have no interest in trying to get you guys to go out and mush my sleigh and go find all the people. But I do have interest in having you utilize some products, utilize a system, put a machine into place and let it run. Will it take some work? Yes. Will it take some thought process? Yes. Will you have to sit down? Yes. Do you have help? Yes. But not if you don't show up. And not if you don't commit and if you can't try a product and you can't sit down and we have times for you to set up a website and you can't you know show up if you have a problem you can't ask for help and you're going to keep searching the answer does not sit in the product or a program the answer sits inside of you and once you work on you the products or the programs all work and then the question is which ones do you want to be with and who do you want to hang out with I came out here tonight by myself instead of with my friends who you'll often see and, and more of you will be friends. And the reason why is because I want to tell you Diane Hockman is back. She took a break. She went through a divorce. She got knocked down. She lost her identity. She lost her health for a while. She lost everything that she knew. And I'm back. And you know why I'm back? Because I'm just like you. I can't walk away. I'm back because one of my dearest friends of all these years has said, come hold hands with me and let's do some fun stuff together. I'm back because of all of you. Because this message is too big and too important and it's going to be too tumultuous out there very soon. And I'm not saying that with like bullshit, you know, because a lot of times I'll say, this is going to happen and you need this, right? You got to buy this because otherwise you're going to be behind the eight ball. Bullshit. You need to learn basic fundamental skills and build your confidence and build your conviction and build your belief in you first and then introduce yourself. Do we have a texting system with leads? Yes. Do we have a this? All the stuff that you want. Yeah. Plus, there's a whole bunch of you guys are a bunch of smarty pants, and you probably can build stuff that I can't even think of. 
I'll help you. But it's 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 downright about this industry has been maligned. It's been her and, and and partially properly. There's been a lot of abuse. But not here, not now. Not with the programs that I work with, not with the people that I hang out with. It is a beautiful, gorgeous, wonderful, heavenly place full of kind hearted, incredible people. You can only be manipulated if you're working from a deficit. Write it down. I can only be manipulated if I'm working from a deficit. If I fill myself every day and I build my skills every day, nobody can come and manipulate me. Nobody can come and manipulate me. Think about it. And if, if somebody can manipulate me, by the way, I, I love sales pitches and offers and I'm always looking at all of them. If somebody can get me, I study. Because I sit there and I go, what did they say to me? What are they triggering me? Where, where, where was I? What what was it? Now, on the flip side of that coin, we all buy products every day, quality products. We all do things to invest in ourselves. We all invest in our education. The question is, is, is it of your volition? Did you make a decision? Did you try it? See, because my whole vibe is try it. Try it. I'm not if you see, I'm never in a rush. People, here's another one to write down. People of prosperity are rarely in a rush. People of prosperity are rarely in a rush. I don't got a rush to get you. I know what I got. I got the cookie. Yeah, I've been saying that for years. Everybody loves that. My old, my friend, may he rest in peace, taught me that. I don't have to convince you. You have to convince you. By the way, that's one of the big things about the 360 marketing method. It's designed to get the person to close themselves. Design, how do you close? I don't know. I don't do it. People always ask me that. I'm like, well, what is your closing technique? I don't have one. I don't have one. How could you not have a closing technique? You close so many sales. Last month, not December, November, four o'clock in the afternoon, they said, uh, you gotta make you gotta make five stars so you can go to the retreat. So I had to do 40,000 volume in like six hours. How do you do that? It's a way. People of prosperity are rarely in a rush. People of prosperity are constantly promoting, presenting, sharing, speaking, right? If you're not ready, that's okay. Somebody else will be tomorrow. Guess what? I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to talk about money. We're going to talk about the revenue streams. We're going to talk about how to get started. If you want, you don't have to start. I don't care, but I'm going to show you inside of our Facebook group, not out in public. I'm going to show you inside of our Facebook group, how it works and we're going to get going and we're going to take people and we're going to systematically teach them how to get to break even, how to get to a thousand dollars and so on and so forth. And each and every one of you will be drilled to know where you move from red to black, right? From, from loss to profit. You're going to know what your nut is. You're going to know how much you need to make, how many people you need to bring in in each thing. What do you need to do to break even? I ask people all the time, how many people you need to break even? I don't know. I don't know. I've a business for seven years. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> and if you don't want to learn this stuff, I'm not your girl. But if you want to be prepared when the wind blows, you want to have friends, and you want to have something systematic, this is the place. I love you all. I thank you for being here tonight, wherever you watched. If you're not in the group, please ask to be in the group. If you feel that this was something valuable, it is on my Facebook wall, you can share it. And then ask the person if they want to be added to the group and you add them with your name so that we know it was you. It's time. You don't have to be slick. You don't have to be a fast talker. You don't have to have big boobs, you know, or 
push-up bras and bikinis. You don't have to have big jewelry or big this or red bottom shoes, or I did put on lipstick, but it's all gone. You just need to learn to be. Sharon, ask whoever, who, wherever you're watching this video, ask the person underneath the video. Maybe you probably already did, but I'm seeing it in the main, I'm getting comments from everywhere. <clears throat> so just make sure wherever you commented, uh, whoever that belongs to. Donna, good to see you here. So that's it. Tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, going over the 360 marketing revenue streams. Okay, so this is the message on Monday nights. So I'm going to give a message largely in public. You guys can share it so that you can get people to come to the group. The mechanics, I'll be going over the mechanics every week. We're going to talk about money and how money is made. And then we're going to have Ray Williams, the mind mechanic, come in and work with us with our minds, strategically with our minds, our programming, our subconscious mind. We have other experts that are coming in that are going to help you. Alice and Ginny and, and, and a whole bunch of incredible people. Susan. They have the ability to help you with your tech and get yourself set up because we want a very quick setup. We don't want to we don't want to do two weeks of training to get set up. We want you to have websites and everything set up immediately, because that way, when we go over the mechanics and somebody says, I want to join the program, so you're going to have a link. It has all your links on it. It's easy peasy. There you go. There you go. And then if you want to go deeper down the road and you want to get into using mail and you want to get into using text and some of these other things. Wonderful. Okay. I think I'm complete. And as Ron Henley, who's known me for many years, knows I have no idea what I just said. I'll probably go back and watch to see what I said. Um, but I know what I said was good. And I know that uh, the time is right. So everybody have a beautiful night. I'll probably be over in a Facebook group chatting after this. Um, let me know if you need anything and we'll see you tomorrow to talk about the mechanics. Take care.